I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada this week, and I'm going to show you how I secretly live here in my car. My name is Arslan and my life completely changed a few years ago after I slept in my car one night and realized I saved $50. Since then, I ditched paying rent and started full-time car living in different vehicles. While embracing and sharing this lifestyle with you, I put myself through school and got my nursing degree. Now I live in a 2014 Chevy Suburban, enjoying my freedom on the road while exploring North America. Want to see how I do it? We are parked at a rooftop garage building at New York, New York Casino Hotel. It's 65 degrees outside and this is a paid parking spot. I've been living in Vegas for a week, but I've been mostly stealth camping in the suburbs just because I feel like the closer you are to the strip to the center of Las Vegas, the higher the crime rates are. Plus, it's way quieter and more residential the closer you are to the edges. But to me as a car camper, crime wasn't the biggest concern about living in Las Vegas. It's actually the heat. I have a black car which absorbs all the sunlight. So even though it's spring, we've had a couple of days where it was 70 degrees outside, clear skies which meant it was 85 in my car. So for these two days, I had to run the engine and turn on my AC for about six hours each day. But when it's like 65 and cloudy, I don't have to do that. Welcome to my kitchen. And since we're in Vegas, which is home to many high-end luxury restaurants, I figured let's bring the luxury to me. We're gonna be cooking salmon with lemon butter. So let's get all the ingredients that we need. All right, I love how everything is so organized in here. So it's not gonna be just plain salmon. We also have, what is this called, As, asparagus? Oh yeah. A lot of people have been yelling at me to eat more vegetables. I think they complement each other, so that's gonna be good. We can go ahead, chop off the hard ends. Just put salt and pepper. So with the lemon, we're gonna be squeezing half of it into the sauce that we're gonna be using, also for decorations. So this is our serving plate. I'm just gonna prepare some garnish. It's smelling really, really good. Next up, we're gonna be working with the salmon. I'll put some butter on there. Wow, this is actually a good size portion. Uh, let's go ahead and give it some seasoning. Keep it basic. A nice layer of salt and pepper. Let's do it. Ugh. What's the temperature for cooking salmon? Until it registers 135 degrees Fahrenheit on an instant rate thermometer inserted at the thickest part of the salmon. Okay, 135. That's all I needed. Okay, so that is four minutes on one side. Let's go ahead and uh, try to flip this. Not really sure how I'm going to do it, but <laughs> I don't want to break it. Okay, I got the strategy. So we're going to flip it like this. Here we go. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and make our lemon butter sauce. Take some of that butter. 
Okay, this should do the trick. So as you guys know, I love to save money and I do that by also cutting my own hair. I know some people love to roast me when I mess it up. So this is, uh, this is your chance to roast me. You know, I don't know if you can cut your hair at Planet Fitness, but I always, always wipe the area that I worked at, make sure it's clean. It's kind of like the, uh, the forest rules where you leave no trace. We'll go ahead, punch it at the uh, thickest point. It's done. 133, 134. We got it, you guys. We got it. We got it. Okay, let's see. How am I going to do this? I can try to go like this. And... And just... Ooh! Whew, that was a close call. Some of that lemon butter sauce. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. I just cooked this in my car. I mean, honestly, sometimes I'm amazed by the dishes that we can come up with. Hey guys. By the way, do you guys like the shirt? Well, I guess by opening the trunk like this, I ruined the <laughs> stealth camping aspect. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can dig this. I can dig this. Oh. <laughs> you know what's funny? Uh, in that building, that's a casino hotel, so all of these are like mostly hotel rooms, so they're guests. I wonder <laughs> if they can see what I see right now. <laughs> wow, you guys. Look at that. Oh, we can look at the strip. The camera on this uh, phone is really great. Las Vegas, let's go, baby. Sheesh. Wow. Let's go. Oh, that is so good. Little something extra. Okay, so what are my thoughts about living in Las Vegas so far? I mean, besides the brutal summer where it's 110 degrees, like June, July, you get sunlight year round, which is good because it gives you no excuses not to go out and do things. People are generally very nice. And if you spend enough time here, you're gonna meet people who keep saying that they've never been happier living here or moving here. Locals are probably hating what I'm saying because they've had enough of people moving in. I predict that Vegas is going to be the most popular city in America in no time. I mean, they're opening up a Hollywood 2.0 movie studios here. They have tons of concerts, tons of things to do, tons of... I'm just waiting for the roller coaster to pass by. This might have been a bad spot for me to record. So there's a lot of action here. From a stealth camping perspective, what did I notice was different about Vegas? The parking options. There are a lot of places that are open 24 seven, which is great. Um, shopping plazas here, they tend to not have the uh, famous no overnight parking sign. Compared to the East Coast, you find these signs everywhere. So when it comes to a place to sleep for the night, you're not gonna have a trouble here in Vegas. I mean, that's one of the nicknames for Las Vegas. Besides Sin City, it's the city that never sleeps. Also, I noticed some casino hotels love RVs and love campers. They will give you a free parking spot in hopes that, you know, you give them your business as well. You could also find street parking in residential areas. Just be aware that in Las Vegas, there's a ton of gated communities. Well, it's story time. So I was recognized by the sweetest couple my first night here in Vegas, which took me by surprise. Let me tell you why. I had just rolled up from Colorado after a nine hour drive. So I was exhausted. It was nighttime. It was in the rear parking lot of a Walmart in an area I've never been before. So, you know, my guard is up, but they were so nice. And they even offered me to stealth camp in their gated community. Wow. 
But I was so out of it that I didn't even uh, take a picture with them or give them my uh, solar camper car stickers. And I feel terrible. So uh, if you guys are watching, I don't know why I'm holding a knife. <laughs> um, if you guys are watching, um, I hope I run into you. I'm still local. I hope I run into you so I can show you more love. Oh, that was a good meal. All right, let's do the dishes. Uh, we don't really have much, just the uh, the plate and the uh, skillet. We're gonna get rid of this trash bag very fast because I don't want it to stink up the car. Remember I was telling you how uh, Casino hotels love RVs and campers. Check it out. We got one, two, three, four, four, five. There's like five campers that I'm seeing right now. These are Sprinter vans. There's a lot more to Vegas than just casino hotels. Let's go ahead and take you to one of my favorite spots away from all of this. In 600 feet, turn right onto Arena Drive. As you can see, this is a nicer area. We are on the west side of you Las Vegas. Right. So right now we're pulling up at this park. I don't really have to justify why I'm throwing my trash here, but you know, in my eyes, parks are funded by the federal government and on a state level. So as long as you're paying state taxes, you're helping contributing to build these and maintain them. So I'm gonna throw my trash right here. <laughs> Let's continue our journey. Made the wrong turn. Another thing about Vegas, there's a lot more sports car. Just because the weather is nice year round, basically. So you're gonna see Porsches, Camaros, everything. And check it out, right now we're actually exiting. That's it, we're out of Las Vegas. We were in the suburbs and now we're in the desert. <laughs> There's a lot of pull-offs where you can do hiking. There's people biking right to my right side right now. It's, it's gorgeous. And to my left, we have another van lifer in here. And we are basically driving into the mountains. That's why they call Las Vegas the valley because it's, uh, it's surrounded by all of these high peaks. We are at Red Rock Canyon and uh, this place is famous for photographers, outdoor enthusiasts, anybody looking to explore the desert southwest. This place is special because you know over millions of years the iron that's in the rocks it got exposed to the elements and it basically uh, rusted causing it to turn into that beautiful red color. That's why it's called Red Rock. You can do a lot of things here but I think I'm just gonna make some popcorn and uh, over here sit down over here and uh, enjoy this view. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Wow, I got this whole place to myself. There's nobody here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh my God, if I can buy a piece of land right here, I'll be the happiest man alive. Oh, it's just me and the wind right now. And you guys, I guess. <laughs> So we're gonna be making popcorn in the funnest way I can think of. Uh, we're gonna be using this. If you never used these before, um, you just have to wait and enjoy the show. So we'll go ahead and follow the instructions, which is to open here. Watch this. Hear the sizzling. Okay. Now you start shaking it, shaking it back and forth because you want to spread all the oil across all the kernels. 
It's gonna start popping. Oh, oh, <laughs> look. Whoa. Keep an eye on it. <laughs> I told you this is fun. <laughs> Keep listening. When you don't hear anything for five seconds, it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Ah! <laughs> we're gonna be uh, using some uh, seasoning. It's cheddar. Thank God no one's around. Otherwise, they would have been. Are you okay? What's going on? So what you do, my friends? After it's ready, you poke. Slowly start opening. Exposing, exposing all the goodness. Oh yeah, we're gonna peel off. There we go, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the best seat in the house. It's a little too windy, I will admit. Ah! We're fighting the elements. Compare this into the busy, into the strip. Compare it. It's only a 40 minute drive. Day and night. Remember when we were talking about the people who recognized me? How it was like at the worst conditions? This is the perfect condition. <laughs> if you want to pull up, <laughs> this is the right time. It's daylight out. I'm having a great time. I ate. My belly is full. Arson, are you not working right now? I thought you were a nurse, bro. What happened? So the plan originally was to move to the West Coast and immediately start working at a level one trauma hospital. But I decided to take a couple of months off to test out what's it like living in my car in different states. So I'm gonna take this time to explore my options while also grinding out YouTube videos. I enjoy doing YouTube and I could do YouTube full time, but I can also see myself happy if I focus on my healthcare field. Nursing gives me so much self-fulfillment to be able to directly help people. It's a great feeling. Also, there's growth in nursing. I can go get my doctorate degree. I can go start medical school if I wanted to. I mean, that's actually worth it for the YouTube video. I'm a doctor living in the hospital parking lot. <laughs> That'll go viral. <laughs> there's a lot on the table and, you know, I have people in my life trying to influence me one way or the other, but at the end of it, I just have to follow my heart and do what I think is best for me. All right, that's it. All my fans who were in this area, you had your chance to meet me. So the meetup was a failure. Unfortunately, it's okay. There's always next time. Hello, hello, hi, you like this angle? We're parked at a shopping plaza with the perfect trifecta. What do I mean by that? When I'm stealth camping in town, there's three things I'm always looking for. And ideally, I would have all of them. The first one is a Planet Fitness so I can shower. The second one is a grocery store so I can buy groceries. And the third one is a couple of restaurants so I can just easily get food. And this shopping plaza has all three. As you can see, we've been driving a little bit and there are a bunch of camper cars. There's Sprinter vans. So it looks like this is a hot spot and I'm not the first one here. <laughs> so let's call this place home for the night. We'll go ahead and turn the camper into full stealth mode.
Hey guys, before I do my own thing, I wanted your opinions on what videos to do next. The first idea is installing a 12 volt wind turbine on top of this car. It's gonna be about this big. It's an experiment to see if it's actually good or not. Can I use that to generate power for my system? The second idea is sharing with you guys some of the foods and traditions of different cultures. Growing up, I've lived in the Middle East and I've lived in Eastern Europe. So I can share all of that with you. I was thinking the other day and I'm like, why do people travel abroad? Because they want to be exposed to the different cultures, right? But here in Solar Camper Car, I bring the culture to you. You're welcome. The next idea I have is to just continue my mission in testing out what's it like living in my car in different cities, different states. We're going to spend a week there and then do a video that's kind of like this one. Do me a favor and let me know in the comments which of these ideas excites you the most. Catch you next time. Yes, sir. You look fresh. Thank Enjoy. you. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it. Take bye care. Guys. Bye bye, guys.